Riding a drop-off is a situation you will face all the time in all mountain riding. Having a good technique will prevent you from going over the handlebar and carry speed after the landing. As you can see here, we have a pretty big drop-off onto the flat. What you want to make sure is that when you get to the edge, you'll be ready to extend your arm to move your bike forward. Extend your legs to bring your rear wheel as early as you can onto the ground. And use this extension to absorb the terrain once landed. As you can see, my arms are extended, legs are bent, and my weight is right over the back wheel. Once the rear wheel comes off the drop, I extend my legs down and my weights move back to the center of the bike, ready to absorb. Here is an example of a type of drop-off where you have a steep landing. You want to make sure that you don't drop your rear wheel first and take the risk to flip yourself over the back. You want to make sure that you apply your pressure on your handlebar to dive your front wheel into the landing and be able to control your speed as early as possible. Because the landing is on a slope, you want to drop your front wheel over the edge by pushing your handlebar forward and down. So as I am approaching the step down, what I want to do is control my speed, look at the landing and dive into it. To summarize for drop-offs, if the landing is flat, make sure you shift your weight back and drop your wheel wheel first. If the landing is on a gradient, dive your front wheel to bring the bike parallel to the slope. <laughs>